and I really thought I liked it, but now I'm just like, I don't like it. Wow. Wow. I can't believe. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about Fresh. Fresh is literally my all time favorite skincare brand, side note. Today we are talking about the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner and the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I have been using these two products for the, hmm, I've been using these products for the last couple of weeks almost a month one of them having been using these products for a bit of time i figured let me talk about them share my experiences with you but yeah i won't keep you guys here for too long so let's jump right into the video i've just washed my face so i am literally dripping covered in water but anyway guys the first product that we're going to be using slash talking about is going to be the fresh rose deep hydration toner this is one of fresh's best-selling products and i think it's been one of their best-selling products for many years and i've only just used this so you can see i've already used some i opened this I think it was last week so i'm on the fresh website and this rose deep hydration toner has literally like 4.8 4.9 stars out of five based on 374 reviews and i mean considering that this is one of the best selling products do we expect anything less not really <laughs> this comes in three sizes this comes in a travel size a regular size and the jumbo size the travel size is 21 pounds and is 100 mil the regular size is 250 mil and is 35 pounds and the jumbo size is 48 pounds and 400 100ml. If you're new to the product like I am, you might want to go with the travel size. The size I have here is the travel size. So this is 100ml, so you can get this one for £21. I didn't actually buy this. I got this as a sample. I always talk about how Fresh have some kind of discount going on. So I'm pretty sure I got this as part of a sample thing many moons ago. Okay, so Fresh described this as a daily non-stripping toner with real rose petals and hyaluronic acid that minimizes pores while increasing hydration by 46% for six hours. Wow. Guys, if you have been on this channel for any amount of time, any length of time, I always talk about how dry my skin gets deep down in the layers. I always talk about how I'm having to layer on many layers of moisturizer, many layers of serums just to keep my skin hydrated throughout the day. So anything that will offer us any increased amount of hydration for an extended period of time already gets a gold star from me. And I have found that this is this is hydrating and this does keep your skin hydrated throughout the day like i'm not finding that my skin gets super dry like halfway through the day since i've been using this toner which is a massive thing for me then in terms of why you need it they say that this deeply hydrates the skin softens and refines the look of pores and finally this tones and preps the skin for your next steps which we love that and we need that <laughs> so coming off the back of that this has six main key benefits this cleanses hydrates minimizes pores softens soothes and tones this is literally like a multi pup not multi-purpose but a multi-functional skincare product that you definitely want to try if you have dry skin your pores are getting a bit big your skin is feeling a bit like rough and you just want to like smooth it out and give your skin a bit of toning in terms of the key ingredients this has four main key ingredients this has hyaluronic acid this attracts and maintains moisture to enhance suppleness for a plumping effect this has rose fruit extract interesting which is known for its toning properties this also has angelica leaf extract which helps retain moisture and then finally this has rose water which helps to calm and soothe the skin obviously the fresh rose line is just packed with rose and rose has many beneficial products especially if your skin is feeling a bit irritated a bit dry so we love all of the ingredients in this then in terms of the proven results based on a self assessment with 31 subjects over the course of four weeks 97 percent of people felt it softened and refreshed their skin 94 percent reported it left their skin smooth 90 percent felt it was soothing and 100 percent said it helped clear residual impurities that is very interesting because i haven't actually noticed the last point but i'll definitely be 
more mindful about the impurities on my skin and how this helps with my skin going forward. When it comes to how to use, Fresh say that you should pour this onto a cotton pad, sweep it over your face and neck, use daily morning and night after cleansing and before your serum and moisturizer. When it comes to applying product, I much rather prefer to use my hands. I like to feel the product on my hands. I like to feel it going then onto my skin. So how I've been using this toner is I have just been dabbing it into my hand and then putting it straight into my skin and I feel like that method of delivery has worked very well for me obviously if you like to use a cotton pad you have cotton pads then by all means go ahead and use a cotton pad okie dokes so yeah we're gonna go into using and i'm going to talk about this before we go on to the serum my face is feeling so dry wow look at that glow so that has gone in quite quickly i do really like how this toner absorbs it absorbs quite quickly so you're not having to wait around too long before you can put on your next skincare product if you guys are familiar with this channel and you watch any of my morning or evening skincare routines you will know that my regular toner of choice is the fresh rose floral toner i've been using that toner for years if you go onto my blog by alicexo.com you will know that i've been using this for literally years i'm using this here we go i've been using the fresh rose floral toner i would say for like two or three bordering on three or four years this has been my holy grail toner and this is really great so when i realized that i would then have to start using this toner i was a bit apprehensive towards it just because i'd never used it before in terms of how these two stack up unfortunately i do have to say i still prefer the fresh rose floral toner i just feel like this is a lot lighter on the face and it feels a lot more refreshing this is very refreshing it's nice to just spritz on my face first thing in the morning it cools down my skin it tones my skin it's really hydrating and i feel like because it is lighter and a bit finer i feel like it penetrates my skin a lot more and a lot deeper whereas the deep hydration toner feels a bit heavy it reminds me a lot of the kombucha facial treatment essence it's kind of heavy in that regard it sits a bit more in the skin it doesn't penetrate as deeply as the floral toner does the smells a lot more intense that said i love the smell i have nothing against the smell but the smell of this hydration toner is a bit heavier so if you don't like fragrance and if you don't like the fragrance of the floral toner you will for sure definitely not like the smell of the deep hydration toner because this is a lot more powerful but I put that down to the fact that they're a real live they're real life rose petals in the deep hydration toner which explains why the smell is greater and why it could be a bit heavier but you know all in all i do like this like i said this is hydrating and i found that my skin is hydrated throughout the day my skin isn't getting dry or anything like that so i do still like this but out of the two of them i much prefer the floral toner i also do prefer that i can just spray this and it feels a lot cleaner a lot tidier i still press the floral toner into my skin once i spray it on my face but i much prefer just spraying it directly onto my face as opposed to having to you know put it into my hand and then making sure i don't spill it everywhere and then putting it on my face so i think if this was in a spray bottle i might be inclined to like it a bit more but I much still prefer the floral toner in terms of where i would buy this again i don't know to be honest i'm not really sure i think having tried it if i see it on offer i might be tempted to buy it but if it was a choice between the deep hydration toner or the floral toner i'll for sure always just go with the floral toner also with the floral toner you can use it to spritz your face after makeup and you can spritz your face throughout the day so this is more multi-purpose and multifunctional. whereas with this you can't really put it onto your skin unless your skin is bare which it's not a necessity for me and it's not that big of a deal but i do prefer things that i can do a lot more with them so that is wrapped but i do i do like this and i feel like it is hydrating so if you do want to try this i would probably start with the travel size or wait until fresh have some kind of offer where you can get this either for free or as a sample or something like that next we are moving on to serum as you can see i literally have the tiniest bit of serum left because i have been using this a lot <laughs> i've been using this quite liberally but anyway let's give it a quick shake before we get into using so anyway next we're on to serum this is the fresh rose deep hydration oil infused serum again this has like 4.8 4.9 
stars out of five stars this is based on 842 reviews again this is one of fresh's best-selling products however this is i think one of fresh's newer products this did come out i think last year or the year before so this is new so the fact that it can be a best-selling product in such a short space of time is just wow mind-blowing this is 52 pounds and 100 mil the one i have here is a sample that i got for free and this one is 20 mil but if you want to buy this from the website this is 52 pounds and this serum replaces the fresh rose deep hydration face serum this one was also 52 pounds although this was 52 pounds for 50 mil so you're getting more bang for your buck so what is it fresh so this is fresh's first ever oil infused liquid serum created to deliver both deep hydration and nourishment for dewy skin that's plumped with moisture true i would have to say that it's quite true and why you need it the fastest way to dewy skin with a few shakes two potent phases transform into a silky serum balancing water and oil to give thirsty skin exactly what it needs with rose water damask rose and lightweight nourishing oils it deeply hydrates for 24 hours without a greasy finish i do have to agree that this is not greasy and i think when you think of an oil serum you would maybe think it would be quite oily and quite greasy but this isn't oily and greasy at least not in the way that you would imagine it to be in terms of benefits again this has six main key benefits this hydrates nourishes plumps smooths softens and soothes so a real great powerhouse and then in terms of key ingredients this has four key ingredients this has damask rose extract which is sourced from rose valley bulgaria and is extracted with a sustainable approach damask rose helps to retain moisture while strengthening the skin's barrier to protect from water loss love that rose flower camelina and rosehip oils which immediately nourish and soften plant derived squalene which helps to protect the skin and prevent moisture loss and finally this has rose water which helps to calm and soothe nothing too surprising because this is part of the rose line these ingredients are very common across the whole rose line in terms of proven results based on a self-assessment of 61 subjects over four weeks 100 percent of people said their skin was instantly hydrated and plumped with moisture 98 percent said they felt their skin was nourished 97 percent said they noticed their skin felt replenished and more supple and 97 percent reported that the product smoothed the texture of their skin then down here they also say that this is proven to deliver 24 hour deep hydration this is based on an instrumental test on 11 subjects when it comes to how to use fresh say that you need to shake well this will mix the water and the oil phases together pour it into your palm then you pat it lightly in your face and you can use this morning or night and i've been using this both morning and night okay so let's get into using and then i'll talk about my thoughts okay guys wow you can really see a difference between my face and my neck <laughs> so i guess let me talk about my experience with this serum first of all this serum has replaced the fresh rose deep hydration face serum the deep hydration face serum was my ultimate og go-to serum this serum i have to say single-handedly transformed my skin completely this was one of the very first fresh products that i used and i fell head over heels in love with it so i have to admit i will always be incredibly biased towards the deep hydration serum just because it was absolutely amazing and so for me no other serum that fresh could really come out with unless it's a completely different serum could ever top this serum so when it comes to the oil infused serum while i don't i don't dislike it i do like it and i think it's a good product it is hydrating like they say it's hydrating it gives you a nice glow it makes your skin look like bouncy and like squidgy and nice and you know it's not greasy in the sense that you would think like an oil product would be quite greasy however i don't love it i like it I wouldn't commit to buying it but i would definitely say if you have a chance to try it as a sample for sure try it as a sample read all of the reviews to see what people are saying about it this is definitely not a bad product however if it's something that i would buy like i didn't buy this if it's something that i would buy i would not buy this again not because i don't like it but just because not because i don't like it because i do like it but i don't love it and when i think about the deep hydration serum i just feel like 
I would rather just use a whole different serum. I found that while the oil infused serum is very hydrating and it's smoothing, it gives you a nice glowy, dewy look, I found it quite heavy. And I think in the same way that the deep hydration toner is heavier than the floral toner, I did find that this oil infused serum is heavier than the deep hydration serum. And I feel like that is obviously because this has oil in it. It's got more stuff in it that just weighs it down and makes it heavier. The oil does sit on the skin. One of my pet peeves with skincare products is when they don't penetrate deep into the skin and they just sit on top of my skin. I don't like that. I don't like feeling like I have stuff on my face, especially when I then need to go on and use other products. It can just feel like a cloggy mess and it's just like one thing on top of the other and I'm not about that I don't really like that and I found that the oil infused serum it does just kind of sit on my skin even now it feels like it's just it's just on my skin it doesn't really feel like there's anything penetrating that could be because I'm not shaking it enough but when you see this thing when you see when it's separated you can see the water sits on top of the oil when it's shaking you can see all the bubbles and how it's mixed together so I know I've shaken it well I, I shake this a lot i feel like in the morning when i've just woken up and i've just cleansed my face and i've just put toner on like i want my morning skincare routine to be lightweight refreshing easy breezy you know i want to feel refreshed and like i'm walking out in the mountains you know especially because nine times out of ten i will be going to work i'm going to be wearing makeup i'm going to be out in pollution lots of crap is going to be on my face so i want my skincare routine to just be lightweight just very easy and refreshing and i don't feel that this serum is refreshing i much prefer using this at night i have to say because it is a bit heavier and at night i'm doing like more to my skin just to really have my skin heal but in the morning this isn't what i want to be using at all and i feel like compared to the deep hydration serum which was so refreshing so lightweight so juicy it penetrated so deeply that even before i started using any toner this serum alone just made my skin so hydrated i just feel like this doesn't compare and even though i feel like the oil serum is hydrating it's not as hydrating as do you know what i have to say i actually don't think the oil serum is hydrating now that i think about it i think it's moisturizing but it's not hydrating whereas the deep hydration serum is more hydrating because it just goes a lot deeper down into the skin and it makes my skin feel refreshed and just like it's bursting with moisture whereas the oil because it just sits on the top it's not really hydrating my skin it's just moisturizing it and making it like soft and supple but when it comes to what i actually need the oil serum just doesn't do it for me and i am absolutely heartbroken that fresh have discontinued the deep hydration serum because i feel like this was my life this is my life and this is nearly finished by the way i'm like really savoring i'm really savoring the last drops of this because i'm just absolutely heartbroken and i can't believe that fresh discontinued this because it was amazing and no one asked for an oil infused serum i'm hoping that they will bring this back so that we have two serums to choose from in the same way that we have two toners to choose from we have the floral toner and the deep hydration toner i'm hoping that they will bring this serum back so that we could have the oil serum and the deep hydration serum because everyone's skin is different and not everyone wants to be using an oil me i actually i actually hate using oils on my face because i've never found an oil to be hydrating and oils just make my skin dry although i do have to say that this oil infused serum doesn't actually make my skin dry but I just don't like it that much yeah do you know what having talked through this and talked out everything that i think and feel i don't think i do like this oil serum that's very sad wow it's funny because i've been using this serum for weeks and i've just kind of been using it and i've been like mm, it's okay and i really thought i liked it but now i'm just like i don't like it wow wow i can't believe wow guys that's crazy that's actually crazy okay guys so i'm gonna finish off with moisturizer so this is gonna do two pumps this is the glowport ace moisturizer guys if you've tried either the fresh rose deep hydration face toner the fresh rose floral toner the fresh rose deep hydration oil infused serum or the fresh rose deep hydration serum wow that's a lot if you've tried any of these four fresh products let me know down below in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on all four of them or on any of the individual ones that you have tried i have already shared my thoughts as you really know and i would just love to know what you guys think if you are team oil infused serum or if you are team 
deep hydration serum and you are devastated that they've discontinued it if you are team floral toner or if you are team deep hydration toner let me know i am very curious to know what people think i spend so much time talking i would love for you guys to talk back to me and just tell me what you think i'm always very curious about what you guys think as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions on any of these products mentioned let me know down below in the comments every product is going to be linked down below apart from the deep hydration serum because they don't sell that anymore alas um, but everything will be linked down below in the description so make sure you check out the fresh website for more information right after this video i'm going to film a sunscreen video so make sure you check out my next video if you want to know what sunscreen i'm using i alluded to this back in my thank you pharma sunscreen video so make sure you check out my next video to see what sunscreen i'm doing and in the meantime i will see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.